Well, I received an email last week. I think I did a reel on this. Um, if you see the email last week, last week we did how to easily connect with spirit, the three day uh, event. It was so good. If you can come to the next one, I'm going to have a webinar on it. I believe next week, um, please come. It was really potent and people are actually moving through things and feeling their power from these three day event. It was incredible, but you're, you're definitely welcome to come to the webinar, but I received an, an email excuse me, um, from someone. And she was, she basically said, I'm going to be taking myself off your email list because I am a Reiki master. And, um, I know how to connect with my guides. I know all about my guides and I'm now working with DNA and I, I can't remember some other stuff that she was saying. And, um, so how I read that email was I'm more advanced that this is how I interpreted it. Okay. I'm more advanced than you. I'm a Reiki master and I'm doing DNA work. And um, this is this is build below me, basically. I mean, in a nutshell, it's kind of what she was saying, right? Like, so I wrote her back and normally I don't write back things like that. I don't really receive a lot of emails like that, but once in a while I'll get an email or something, someone complaining or judging or whatever. Um, so I wrote her back and I said, you know, I would be really careful because um, what I just want you to reread your email to me. And I did, I wrote it back out of service and not defensiveness. I mean, at first I was like, Oh God, what? you know, like eye rolling, but then I thought about it, you know, and got grounded and wrote her back out of service. And I said something like, I want you, I'd invite you to reread your email to me that you felt the need to, you could have just unsubscribed from my email list, which is, absolutely up to you. You could do that, you know, and invite you to do if it's not resonating with you. Um, but instead you felt the need to tell me that you, um, basically I didn't say that I said, you felt the need to tell me, um, the work that you're doing. I, I forget how I said it, but I basically was saying you, you felt the need to put me in my place. You felt the need to tell me that my work was not significant enough to you or something like that. But I said, here's the thing. I want you to um, really notice that this was a subtle way to attack me and, and then putting, I wish you well, many, many blessings right after this very harsh, very judgmental email and then flowering it with this other thing. So I said this, we need to be really careful because if you're working with your clients and you're a light worker and you're doing Reiki work, really being careful of the traps of being of spiritual narcissism. Now I didn't say spiritual narcissism. What I said was the traps of interference, which is, you know, if someone's spiritually narcissistic and I'm not saying that she is at all. Um, but if you're writing an email like that, that is interference because it's only designed to make the other person feel not good and you to feel better. And what I've been seeing, and I did a video on this recently, it's again and again and again, I'm seeing coaches, therapists, light workers, massage workers, um, people who are, have a servant's heart and are showing up are getting attacked over and over and over again. And why? Why? Because, and if you are one of these people and you're, you know, you, you're a healer or working in the service, or you have a servant's heart and you even have a desire to help other people and you're feeling, and there's just some dis interference in your life. Like people are coming in, things are happening, um, breakdown more than usual. It's, it, there, it, there's a lot of psychic debris happening and it's by design. And the reason it's by design now, this is my view, what my guides have shown me again and again and again, especially right now, is we're in a time of ascension and the people that are going to lead us are people like you and I, people like you and I. So if we're on the rise, which we are, light workers, torch bearers, uh, warriors, people who are following their heart's path, people who are healing, who are disciplined and doing the work, we're getting hit again and again and again. And sometimes it's covert and sometimes it's overt. But if we're down and out and we lose our steam and people are putting us in our place all the time, then we're not outing our work. 
And, and we're not out serving. We're not out leading. We're not out. Even if leading means like you're doing prayer work or, um, you know, as a nurse or there's just, it's just this endless. Then the, 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 the people on the planet and the energies on the planet that want to keep us enslaved and locked down, if we're suppressed, then they have an edge. So the reason I'm sharing this with you is if you're finding yourself up against more, um, just kind of more debris, energetic debris, more breakdown, more this, more that, and you're like, oh, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting like um, going sideways because I'm having to deal with all of this. No, one, you're not alone. You're so not alone. Two, you're not a victim. We don't want to be no victims. Three, moving out of the victim and into power. Hmm. Interesting. Like with the email. Interesting. She doesn't realize that she is compromised. And this is how I feel. And in, has interference that she felt the need to write an email, take the time out to put me in my place. Why? Why? Because there's a battle going on. And if I took the bait and felt bad about myself and, oh my God, well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be doing this class. Like, oh, it's really not that helpful. I wonder if other people are going to take themselves off my list. If I had gone there, my energy drops and I'm not able to deliver. So the third thing is power, curiosity, and then bringing your aura up, releasing anything in your field, asking for clarity from your guides, from the divine so that you can spot out interference and not to get defensive and not feel wounded, but feel like, interesting, I'm navigating this, huh? Yeah, I've heard that other people are going through this as well. And these things are not going to pull or push me down. Even if you're going through something big, like a financial crisis or some sort of um, family crisis or some sort of breakdown, even though it's emotional and it's challenging and all the things, because we, we have some family stuff going on here as well. Pull back, pull back and not get as entangled. It's like taking your ball and going off the court because your work is more needed. Your power is very needed. Your light is very needed and it's needed for you. A number one, your soul your path and the part of you that really wants to be of service. So I'm gonna leave you with this. There's a lot of traps right now, a lot of psychic and energetic traps, particularly for the light worker, a lot. And it's okay, we got it because we're smarter than the traps. We're smarter than the traps, we're more resilient, and, you know, we've been here before, the witch is burning and all the psychic uh, hoopla. And I was reading to, uh, that in New York, it's actually illegal, illegal. Psychics are illegal in the state of New York. Now, no one listens to it, but energetically, what does that say, right? What does that say? Mm -mm. It has never, ever been safer to be a light worker. It may not feel like that sometimes because I have people, some people saying, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go out and show my gifts. I'm afraid to come out of the spiritual closet, but it's never been safer. You might get hit with some kind of like, uh, you know, a little attack here and there, maybe, or maybe not. But you have so much protection and so many guides and so many multidimensional beings are literally here on the front lines, waiting for you to come out of the closet and waiting for you to rise and show your gifts to the world. It's never been safer ever. Even if there's an illusion, and that's the word, illusion, that it's not. Judgment, illusion. Illusion. People judge. Okay. It's not about you. Not about me, right? That email had nothing to do with me. Nothing except for I'm going to kind of 
ping her down. That's it. That doesn't even have anything to do with me personally, Beth Osmer, the woman that I am, right? It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with a bigger game, right? So anyway, I love you. We are in this together. You are a light worker and a way shower and a torch bearer and just getting really, really clear around kind of what's going on, what's yours, what's not yours and standing in your power. All right. My name is Beth Osmer and I will see you on the next video.